Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Android Studio on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Android Studio. And the first link which will appear here will be from developer.android.com forward slash studio. So we are going to click on this link here. And once you are on this web page, straight away, you will see this download button. So Let's click on this download button, which is going to give you this kind of uh, agreement window. So just read through it. And once you agree with this license terms and conditions, click on this checkbox and then click on the download button, which is going to start the download of Android Studio on your Windows operating system. So it's around 1.3 gigabyte file. So it will take a few seconds to download. And once this exe file is downloaded, let's click on this uh, exe file and let me minimize the browser. So at this point, I'm going to click on next button. And then uh, these are the components which will be installed. So Android Studio and Android Virtual Device. So we will require both. So I'm going to leave both of them as checked and then click on next. So this is the location where Android Studio will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. And then you can choose the start menu folder, leave everything as default at this point and then click on install, which is going to start the installation process. So at this point, we just need to wait for a few seconds until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. So once you see this message, which says setup was completed successfully, we are almost done. So let's click on the next button. And then just leave this checkbox as checked, which is for starting the Android Studio. And then click on Finish button. So at this point, it's going to ask if you want to uh, share some statistics with Android Studio. So I'm going to click Don't Send for now. And now I have this Android Studio Setup Wizard. So let's click on the Next button here. And then we want to go ahead with the standard installation. So leave this as standard and then click on next. And then these are the components which will be installed. So if you are okay with all these components, click on next. And then we need to agree with those license terms and conditions. So let's select the accept option here and then click on next. And now we just need to wait for this download to finish. And once the download is finished, it's going to install all the components. And in between, you might see some uh, pop-up windows which might say, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? Just press yes button at those points. And now I can see that this setup has been finished and I can see the finish button here. So just click on the finish button, which is going to launch Android Studio. So now Android Studio has been launched. So from here, we can create a new project or open a new project or clone a repository. We also have a few uh, options here. So, so if you want to customize your uh, Android Studio appearance or change the language, you can do it from here. And then you can install the plugins from this plugin section and also learn. So just click on this project window. Before creating the project, let's check if Android emulator is running or not. So click on this more actions here and then click on virtual device manager option. And this is going to open this kind of device manager window. And once you open this window is also going to uh, show you some kind of uh, warning or security warning, which says, do you want to allow public and private network to access this app? I'm going to click on allow here. So you can see there is this one default device which is available, which comes with the installation of Android Studio. So let's try to run this uh, device. So I'm going to click on start here, which is going to start this emulator. So I can see something is starting. This is the emulator. So I can see this default emulator is uh, successfully starting. And now this emulator has been started. So you can see all the options and when you run your Android uh, project, it's going to show you uh, the output in this Android emulator. 
so we can keep it uh, running if you want you can also stop it if you want to add more virtual devices you can click on this plus uh, icon here and then from here you can choose the form factor and then choose the devices so for example if you want uh, uh, pixel 9a i can select this and then click on the next button and from here i just need to uh, download all these images for for my selection and when i click on finish it's going to download those images right so let's click on the finish button and then click on yes here which is going to start the download of uh, all the images as i mentioned and once this progress bar reaches to the 100 percent mark it's going to add that emulator in the device manager section and once that's uh, done we are going to click on finish and then you can see this new device is added here right so let's stop this uh, other device which is running so let me click on the stop button and once i click on the stop button it's going to stop this device and if i want i can just start the new device which i have created which is the new virtual device right so you just need to press on this run button to start those devices and now i can see that uh, this uh, virtual device is starting so everything is working fine so this device has been launched and it's booting and it's going to start right by the meantime uh, we can just minimize this window and then we can create a new project so i'm going to click on the new project option here and then we can select one of uh, these uh, uh, options let's say i want to uh, select navigation ui activity so i'm going to select this option and then click on next and the project name will be my application and it will be saved under this uh, location so for now i'm going to leave everything as default just for you to know uh, here you can see the minimum SDK so you can choose the minimum SDK and depending on the SDK you have chosen you will see how many percentage of devices will be covered by that SDK so for now I'm going to just uh, leave it as uh, default which was uh, selected by default and then click on finish here which is going to create my project so at this point once this project is created you will see this kind of progress bar which says importing gradle project so at this point you need to wait for a few seconds once this process is finished you will see uh, this run button and debug button will be enabled once all the processes are finished also nowadays android studio also comes with this chat option so you can sign in with your uh, google account so let me sign in with my google account let me click on sign in to google and once the sign in is successful let me minimize this browser and now it says authorized and i also see this window which says stay up to date with android studio receive relevant uh, emails i will leave it unchecked and then click on finish here and for this gemini ai assistant I just need to uh, check this checkbox and then click on next here and then agree with the license terms and condition and then click on next and then you can just select one of these options which says use all Gemini features which is recommended also and then I will select apply to all projects and then click on finish which is going to add this AI agent capability in the Android Studio itself, right? So now I can use uh, AI agent to build my project and then uh, ask for the help if I'm facing some problem with my project, right? So here I can see the context. So current file and um, other agent.md file and rules. And then I can also see this default here, which is Gemini no cost tier. So you have uh, three options here. One is uh, the chat option, other is the agent and then ask option, right? So using ask, you can ask. Using agent, you can ask for the help and Gemini is going to change your code, which you can accept or uh, reject. So now I can see that uh, this Gradle uh, import has been finished, but still there are two processes which are running. So I will 
wait for these processes to finish but for now i can also see that my virtual device is listed here this is the virtual device which uh, is running currently right so this is the pixel 9a which i started using my device major so this is running here i can see this and this is selected here if i want i can select other devices also and it's going to launch this current project output in that emulator so let me click on this run button and let's see what happens so i'm going to click on the button which is going to start the build and now i can see the output of uh, my uh, program into this emulator so it says hello android and i can see those menu options here so everything is working fine we are able to create our android project and run it into this virtual device and also we have seen how to create a new virtual device using android studio so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video